Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is Fractals Revealing the Horizontal Financial Market Forecast that uses predictive uh, fractals. All right, let's get uh, started. What is uh, horizontal uh, financial market forecast that uses uh, predictive uh, fractals? All right. What we are calling uh, horizontal financial market forecast using uh, predictive factor pattern is uh, the financial market forecast that rely on the same time frame using the predictive factor pattern on the same time frame. So you remember in the first two video of Regeneron, talking about the video that I titled Taking the Baby First Step of Predictive Fractal Pattern Trading. All right? We were going from the yearly chart all right, to the two hour time frame. And then I record another video, I recorded another video that we titled Baby Peeps, a Fractal Trader, is introducing a predictive fractal pattern trading strategy. In that tutorial, we were going from the monthly chart to the daily chart, all right? Now what we are about to do, we are not going to change time frame, we're going to stay on the same time frame, all right? We're going to be looking for a predictive fractal pattern that is repeating itself, all right? That is cookie cutting itself, so to speak, on the same time frame. This is what we call the horizontal financial market forecast. So we are not using anything external. We are using the same financial instrument and we are staying on the same time frame. This is what we call the horizontal all right, financial market forecast that uses the predictive fractal pattern. All right? So it's clear now. So look carefully. So as always, I say to trader, when we are using the predictive fractal pattern, okay, our number one tool is our eyes. Can you do you remember? So you need to train your eye to, to watch things, all right? So what, what you want to do, you want to train yourself because I work on this for a while, all right? So you are looking at something, all right? You are looking at something like this. Let me show you how you have to train your eyes, all right? To see things clearly, all right? You want to look at it from different angles. So. You can watch it from here, all right? You can watch it from here. You can watch it from here. You can watch it from here. You can watch it from here, all right? You can watch it far away, all right? So how does it look? How does it looks like if you look at it from far away, all right? This is what we are trying to do, all right? So talking about looking at it, all right? From far away, this is about going to the higher time frame, all right? All right, so... Is that correct? Because when we zoom into the price, we are going to the lower time frame. So that's what I'm saying to you, that if you are looking at it from far away, we are looking on the higher time frame. We can, we can look at it very closely, all right? Very closely using microscope or something. So this is the thing that you need to work out. So you're going to look at it from the viewpoint of a candlestick pattern, from the viewpoint of a chart pattern, from the viewpoint of area way pattern, from the viewpoint of market pattern, from the viewpoint of all kind of price structures. This is what you are trying to do. All right, so you get it now. So what I'm saying, so if you give to the different traders the same chart, they may come out with different things. So you give the same chart to a group of 20 different traders. You say, go away and look at this chart and try to see if you can recognize a factor pattern. They all will come back with a different patterns. All right. But that's what I say to you. Feel free to disagree with what I'm saying here. All right. So I see that the price went up here. You see, see, it went up from 2001, okay, up to 2006. And then it came down like this, you see. So you see that trend line, the price break below it, all right? And then it tried to retest that trend line. That's what the price doing all the time. So it break below that trend line, and then it retested it there. And then it came down.
before he formed a double bottom chart pattern. So traders that are following us at the two four Elliott wave uh, YouTube channel, we talk about when we are dealing with complex price structure, we tend to uh, ignore, not ignore in a proper sense of the word, but we tend to cover, this is what I say to trade, cover the double bottom chart pattern. It's like the price did not go anywhere. All right? It's, it's just confirming the same level twice. It's a validation of a key levels. Double bottom, double top. Double top is, is a validation of a resistance level. Double bottom is a validation of a support level. So if you go to www.24idiotwave.com, you click on uh, Idiot Wave Validation, or you watch a playlist at the 24 Idiot Wave YouTube channel, Idiot, uh, how to deal with complex area wave and so on. You see that I talk about this at one point. So the reason why I'm mentioning this is that a lot of them say that the price came down one, two, three, four, five. I'm saying it came down in three moves after this move up. All right, so everybody agrees now, okay? So price went now and it came down one, two, three on which time frame on the monthly chart. We are talking about horizontal financial market forecast using the predictive fractal pattern of Mr. Benoit Mandelbrot. All right? All right. Now, okay, after that double bottom pattern, which is a validation of a support level, what the price did again, the price went up. So you may see that it came down here. So you see, it went up to this point, came down, went up, tried to come down here. I'm trying to ignore this one for a reason. We may have to come back to it, and then I will explain it to you. Here again, in far what has happened, the price was trying to, see, it went up, where am I now? If I put my uh, things here, you can see that it went up again, came down one, two, Three. This candlestick bar here was quite small. The market is becoming very, very bullish now. Normally, we can count this one, two, three. But because I don't want to do that, I will move my uh, line all the way here because it's become very clear here. Here, it was not very clear, but I can assure you it's the same old price went up one, two, three. The only thing that this candlestick bar here is very short. But now it becomes clear again here. Look carefully here on the same time frame. We see the same pattern again. Price went up and it came down how many times? One, two. Are you getting now? Three. All the price doing is just breaking that. Uh, call it breakable. That uh, it's a common setter. If you, what I'm doing now, uh, you may disagree. Uh, the line that I'm drawing now, which I'm going to call uh, now into quads. Are you watching it? Can you see it? All right, hopefully you will see it, okay? All right, I'm drawing it along this line on this section here only. All right, I'm ignoring this because normally this one is one, two, three. So when I probably, as you can see, what the price did, because I stayed my line all the way to the top here, where the market was looking for a clear cut one, two, three. So here it is, it did not happen clearly here. Now it's clear here, one, two, three. So the price bring below that two quarters trend line and then retest it there and then pull back again. The same scenario that we see here, one, break below, retest, turn around, one, two, three. So this is a predictive fractal pattern. The price going up. So on the same time frame, the price is doing the same thing. It goes up. What is it doing? It breaks below a trend line. And then it retest it. All right? And then it comes down one, two, three. Okay, that is the pattern. That is the predictive fractal pattern that is duplicating itself, that is copying and pasting itself on this same time frame. This is what we call the horizontal market uh, forecast using predictive factor power. That's the pattern that is copying itself. So here again, it went up again, one, two, three. Look carefully, my friend. Here again, it went up, do you agree? On the same time frame, we are still on the monthly chart. I haven't changed time frame as we did in the previous video. Common set trend line is kaput. What the price did, are you with me? Stay with me, please. It break below it. That trend line, let's call it now into pink. Break below that common set trend line. And then what the price did, the price retested carefully there. And then what the price did again, 
and then it come down again. Now, again, you can see here we have again a double bottom chart pattern. That's what we are talking about. We cover it. <laughs> Now, for traders who do not understand complex idiot wave and then what I've discussed with traders at 24 idiot wave YouTube channel, all right, you need to check out that video about complex. There is a playlist about complex idiot wave, so you're going to spend a bit of time to find that video, all right. So, one, two, three, this is a predictive factor pattern, and the pattern is this price goes out, break below, retest, turn around. It's done in here, we are on the monthly chart, one, two, three, yeah. So, here again, so because it's done in before. That's why I'm saying to you, there is nothing new in the financial market. Now, I'm going to explain this to you more, and it will make more sense to you for some of you who are saying, George, uh, I'm not very convinced. I will explain it to you more why this is it. All right. In fact, I will do it now. Now, if you see a financial market like this, a financial instrument like this, all right, so you are looking at the price. One thing that a lot of traders are forgetting, all right, what you are looking at, you are looking at the behavior of market participants that are trading this financial instrument. The tractor supply, okay, Epic TSCO. This is an American stock, tractor supply, okay? Now, when you are looking at a chart, you are looking at the behavior of market participants. So you only five minute time frame, you are watching the behavior of the market participant on the five minute time frame. You are zooming into it. You remember different angle, a closer look, okay, and a zoom out look. All right. So because we say a behavior, sometimes some financial instrument, there are what we call the specialists. They trade the same financial instrument. You have a gentleman or a computer trading the same financial instrument, in fact, with the same strategy. So when we are talking about human being or market participant, we are also talking about algorithms. We are talking about trading software. We are trading about uh, okay, high-frequency trading. So those uh, trading tools are using specific algorithm, break below, retest, break below, retest, and they are doing the same thing, automated trading system, automated trading method, they are actively trading, all right? So they are doing almost the same thing. So it can be a trading set down, common satellite caput, break below, retest, buy, retest, turn around, buy. That's what's going on here. So what the pra is reflecting to us on the same time frame, all right, talking about the horizontal market forecast that uses predictive factor pattern, we are keeping our eyes wide open to see exactly what is happening on that specific time frame. All right, and we are just trading it. Right. So after we see this, we say, well, this is a clean cut uh, pattern. Price goes up one, two, three. Okay, let's see if it's going to happen again. Now again, it went up. Yeah, you can see he was trying to do it. All right, and he did it again. So we, because he has done it before, and we know that there is nothing new in the financial market. What has happened before is likely to happen again because it's the same people that are trading this financial instrument. Human beings do not change very often. They have a habit, all right? We want to go into their mind and see exactly what they have done before. What they have done before will help us to predict what they are likely to do. So we can uh, go into their mind, looking at the pattern, the predictive factor pattern, to understand the psychology or the mindset of those market participants. This is very powerful stuff, all right? So you know that the American, so talking about this, the mindset of our, uh, all right, so if you are trading for a while, after a while, it become a mind game, all right, so you know that the Americans are bullish, they like the market to be bullish, the Australian can sell without, uh, okay, looking back, all right, <laughs> we know that, all right, so you want to go into the mind of uh, different traders, how people are trading, who are trading the euro dollar, all right, the banks, all right. How do they trade? What, what is their, their psychology? Sometimes you can play different games, the mind game, and you can see from the predictive factor pattern. Again, prime went up, and what it did? One, two, three. So if you miss this one, you will see that there is a pattern developing on the same time frame. So prime went up, one, two, three. See, 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 detail. You can, prime went up, one, two, three. So now you went up here, a break below, a return. What are you going to expect? One, two, three again. So here, now you have a niche. So you see the pattern now. You, you, you know that something is going on. There is a behavior in place. You say, well, I have identified a predictive factor pattern on the same time frame. This is what George called the horizontal financial market forecast. All right, so 
we put a line there, okay? Put a line there. That line is your warning line because you want to control the risk. Let's call it yellow. Can you see yellow? I like yellow column. Okay, so you are here. Now. What do you need to do? Use a different time frame trading method to trade it. So you are a monthly chart. You say monthly chart, daily chart, hourly time frame. You say, George, well, uh, I don't want to go from the monthly chart. I don't know how to enter the trade on the hourly time frame. Well, if you see this is the trading setup on the monthly chart, your signal will be on a daily chart. So if you don't want to use the, the monthly chart, if the signal is in place, the value signal is in place on the daily chart, you use that as your trading setup on the daily chart. And then you break it down, daily chart, hourly time frame, 10 minute time frame, different time frame to the middle, and then you control it. If the signal fail, you just come out. Because this is not an exact science. Price can continue to go down more after we have seen it there. So it may do it. You see here, it went up one, two, three. Beautiful. Here, it went up one, two, three. It may not do it here. But here it is, it did it. So you are expecting it, and it's happening. You see this talk and the cyber here. Why was it tall? And this small money was doing exactly the same thing. You see this one, there was a tall here. They know what's going on. Another very interesting I want to show you here. Pay attention carefully, my friend. And uh, it will help, it will open your eyes and uh, you will start uh, becoming a level three, a technical trader. You know, I'm talking about keeping eyes well open. As I said to trader, if you need glasses, it's the time to see your doctor. Right? So you have a best okay, prescription for your eyes. All right? So because you will need it a lot. All right? Here it is. So look at this session here, okay? Look at this session here. I'm moving my line a bit, okay? There's something like an inverted doji here. You see this one here? There was another one here. Just just keep, just just bear with me, please. Maybe you disagree with me, but just observe that kind of see by there. Uh, look here, again, similar thing. You see that, you see the same, that kind of see bar? So apart from the structure that I was showing you here, one, two, one, two, three. Okay, price goes up one, two, three. The candlestick there's a specific candlestick bar that is for, that is also formed at that point in time all the time, almost all the time. This one. Okay, you see that the small one with a shadow on top of it. Look again where the price was retesting it. Look carefully. Can you see again the small body with a darker shadow on top of it? <laughs> Are you seeing it now? Now, this is why I say to you, the one that is retesting the trend line is almost inverted hammer each time, all right? Okay, this one also, okay? Almost, 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 all right? So this is what we are talking about, okay? So you want to train your eyes, you want to practice, so it's a very, very important topic. It's an essential topic. It's level three, it's advanced training. If you start using the predictive factor pattern, uh, you are competing with, uh, okay, uh, pattern recognition software out there, trading algorithm out there that are quite advanced. And you want to be very, very patient. You do not want to get carried away. You want to be very composed, a technical trader, because you know that you have an edge, all right? You have an edge, and this is what you want to do. But I haven't finished yet. It will become very interesting. But you see now, price went up. One, two, three. Okay. You see it? It formed a double bottom. It went up. One, two, three. This is the same level. This is what we call horizontal market forecast. Again, it did it here. Remember? Now it did it again here. Now pay attention. Can you see something else? So you may see, George, it went up one, two, three here, but it didn't go up very much. Because here it did the same thing one, two, three, but it went up a bit. But can you, apart from those one, can you see something else? <laughs> All right, now take into consideration this price move from here, price went up from here. Okay, choo -choo 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 -choo, all the way up here. When it reached the top, what it did again? One, two, three. Is that a predictive factor pattern on the same time frame? Yes, it is. And after one, two, three, it went up a bit, but now we are in a corrective phase. So the level two technical analysis is about mastering the area way theory and principle, area way patterns. The level three, you must master okay, the predictive factor pattern. This is about revealing the horizontal financial market forecast that uses predictive factor pattern. So when we are using the world 
are horizontal, it means that we did not change time frame, we are on the same time frame. And there is a predictive factor pattern that is copying itself and placing itself on the same time frame at a different levels. After we have identified the predictive factor pattern on that time frame, we have an edge. We can now use a different time frame trading method to trade it. More advanced traders that are more cautious who do not want to lose because the pattern is happening on the monthly chart at the time when you want to apply the top down trading method, you want to be a little bit curious. So you go and look on the yearly chart, nothing can stop you to see the bigger picture on the yearly chart to validate what is going on on the monthly chart. Well, this strategy we can apply even on the 15 minute time frame, on any time frame, because the financial market is fractal. But Remember, when you are doing this, all right, on the lower time frame, talking about from the daily chart going down to the one minute time frame, you are playing with the market, okay? It's not solid as we start doing it from the weekly, monthly, okay, and yearly chart because it takes time for a pattern to be completed on the monthly chart and it becomes more solid when we are using the monthly chart, quarterly chart, or yearly chart. This is a warning for traders, and especially for new traders. If you find this video very, very exciting, Okay, don't get carried away. Stay calm. Use a demo account. Practice, practice. And do not assume that the price will definitely do exactly what it did before. It may or it may not. In all cases, use a different time frame perimeter to control the risk. All right? If you have any question or suggestion, put in the comment section. And of course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. If this video has been truly, truly useful to you, and you say, George, I like this video. It has been useful to me. Let us know by sticking your beautiful thumbs up. Uh, if you think that, George, this is another ridiculous, uh, funny, really, really funny video, mark it down, and that will put us under pressure to, to improve our next recording. However, if you think this is an essential tutorial that can help other traders, feel free to share with your friend on Google Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, this is the moment, feel free to subscribe today. And make sure you click on the bell icon, the notification icon, so whenever we post a video, you will be the first person to be notified. As always, ladies and gentlemen, all right, we thank you very much for watching our video and we appreciate all your feedback. So this will conclude our discussion today about the fractals revealing the horizontal financial market forecast uh, that uses predictive uh, fractal. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about fractals revealing the horizontal financial market forecast that uses a predictive fractals of Mr. Benoit and Mandelbrot. Happy to meet you all and speak to you soon.